Although people recognized the flaws of propeller-driven aircraft during World War II, which made it difficult for this type of aircraft to achieve breakthroughs in speed, attempts to break the sound barrier with propeller-driven aircraft did not stop after the war. The American XF-84H test aircraft is one of them. The XF-84H was initially a variant of the F-84 fighter jet, with plans to install a more powerful turboprop engine. On one hand, this would allow the aircraft to achieve better flight speed than conventional propeller-driven aircraft, and on the other hand, it would enable it to take off directly from aircraft carriers. Of course, there was also a role for technological exploration in this. However, the U.S. Navy later cancelled the order because the issue of jet aircraft landing on carriers had gradually been resolved. The XF-84H became a purely technical test aircraft to explore the technology of propeller-driven supersonic flight. The aircraft's fuselage was modified from the F-84F, and a 5,850-horsepower Allison XT-40A1 turboprop engine was installed in the rear of the original cockpit. This engine not only provided power to drive the propeller in front, but its exhaust also generated a certain amount of thrust. Additionally, an afterburner chamber was installed, which could further enhance the thrust when activated. A set of variable-pitch three-blade propellers made of steel was installed at the front of the aircraft. Due to the excessive power of the engine and the heavy and high-speed rotation of the propeller, the designer added fixed yaw blades to counteract the torque and changed the tail to a T-shape to avoid turbulent airflow. On July 22, 1955, the XF-84H made its first flight. It should be noted that the afterburner was never activated during its flights. Originally, its design maximum speed was supposed to reach 1,080 km per hour, while the speed of sound is 1,224 km per hour. Although neither of these speeds could be achieved in theory, it was still not slow. Perhaps the designer intended to gradually increase the speed and steadily explore the technology. However, during the test flights, the aircraft did not reach the theoretical speed, which was definitely related to the fact that the afterburner chamber was not activated. The aircraft only reached a speed of 840 km per hour, which was still quite impressive, considering that it was mainly driven by the propeller. But the resulting problem was unbearable, and that was the tremendous noise. It is normal for an aircraft to make noise, but the noise of the XF-84H was astonishingly loud. After taking off, its sound could be heard up to 40 kilometers away. So why was there such a huge noise? This was mainly due to its propeller. With a diameter of 3.7 meters, the blade tips of the propeller could reach a speed of 1.18 Mach when rotating at high speed, which exceeded the speed of sound, resulting in the noise. This noise had risen to a level that could harm human health. Not only did ground personnel feel nauseous and vomit because of it, but one engineer also had an epileptic seizure due to prolonged exposure to the sound waves. Moreover, these sonic waves could also damage some sensitive equipment and affect the scheduling of the control tower. Subsequently, the XF-84H was shelved due to the noise problem and some technical issues. It was never piloted by military personnel, and the Air Force terminated the program in September 1956. The research on achieving supersonic flight with a propeller-driven structure came to an end. It proved that the existing technology was not sufficient to achieve this goal, and from a practical perspective, it was also unnecessary as jet aircraft largely replaced propeller-driven aircraft.